guys. Uh, didn't think I'd catch you here so soon. But since you're here, I'm going to tell you the idea that I have from the main man himself on YouTube. Mr. Ed Funky Man Bassmaster himself. He had an idea years ago that he's still doing. He, sorry, my hair's out of whack. I'm not one of those YouTubers that really care what I look like. You know, as long as the content's out. Anyways. He pranks calls people on Craigslist, acts like a moron, and pretty much tells them he doesn't need it or things like that. We're going to get into it, so let's have some fun. Gonna uh, just Remember, this is all fun. I'm going to let everybody that I call know it's just a joke, and it'll be okay, YouTube. Let's get to call number one, guys. Real quick before we get into this, uh, I just wanted to say two things. One, I just want to say rest in peace to Kobe Bryant. You are a legend. You will forever be missed. And you are a great father, a great athlete. And your family will always love and miss you as the fans will too. You will forever go down in NBA as a great and a legend. God bless Kobe and your beautiful daughter, Gianna. So sad to hear. I can only imagine how hard those moments were for you guys. Uh, one thing is if you guys are together and you'll be balling in heaven's gates from then on out uh sorry to bring it to that point right here real quick guys uh anyway part two number two let's throw this bad boy on uh i wish i had a jersey for kobe i'd wear that this video but i don't have anything lakers uh let's uh a little quick and let's begin caller one you know in case you couldn't read the fucking thing Okay, guys, so this first one's uh, cowboy boots. Women's. Hello. Hi, uh, I'm just calling about the cowboy boots on Craigslist. Uh, yes, sir. Which pair were you interested in? Uh, they look black, bedazzled a little. Along the top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's those ones. Uh, Ariats. Ariats. Yep, that's the one. Okay. So you're a ten and a half D kind of guy. Yeah. I had a. Are those uh, women's boots by chance? No, no. I, every time I, well, I have one pair that I took in and trade from a woman, but they were uh, a men's eight and eight double E. But uh, oh, that's a shame. They, I don't know if you've ever tried, but women's boots, the inside, they're just so much softer than men's. You know what I mean? Like the fit is just perfect. Well, again, it depends to me. I mean, what I've found in my experience, it depends on the brand, you know, and how they're finished. Oh. If they, they finish them off with doe skin on the inside line, then, yeah, they're definitely nice and soft. But uh, unfortunately, yeah, pretty much everything that I've got are men's sizes, not to say that they wouldn't fit a woman, you know. But, but Oh, no, they're for me. I, I, I like women's boots. They look insanely great. Right. So you'd have to go, I I'm, I'm, can't remember now, but you go like a... I don't know, maybe a 12 or 12 and a half women's, something like that would fit a 10 and a half D man, you know? Yeah, that makes sense. What do you have any, like, uh, what, what other kind of boots did you have? I only saw the one pair on. Uh, they may, some of them may have run out. I may have to renew them on there. I have a pair of, uh, Tony Llamas that are, uh, again, these are all 10 and a half D, but what I'm finding, it took me a while to figure it out cause I'm, I'm, I'm old and slow to, to uh, figure but that's my finally my brain kicked in i think and yeah. i apparently with age i'm 64 my feet have kind of widened why it fattened up a little bit huh and they say that that's common you know for people the longer you live you know you're you're upright a lot you're on your feet a lot, and so your feet kind of sp uh, spread out or you know flare a little or what have you um but i i would always wore a 10 and a half d and i still do uh, with some boots but other ones i get them you in, get different sizes um, they feel different they're, right they're just a little bit snug they're not really comfortable if i'm aware that i have them on that's not for me, I like to put on a pair and they feel like old bedroom slippers, you know? Oh, for sure. Now I got, so I got a question I, for I, you. Have I you... want to forget that I got 
bottom of my feet. And if something's kind of just not really painful, but just pinching or just uh, reminding me that I've got a pair of boots on, then now nah, they don't work out. I I try them a couple times if I'm mainly just you know riding in the car or something like that instead sure. of walking them. And if they don't seem to stretch just enough to be comfortable, I mean, then I end up putting them on Craigslist. So well, you know um, what they say, boots they're made for walking. Yeah. Yes, that's right. But I, uh, I don't like to take her off walking in them because then I will have sore feet. Yeah, that's a fact. Them, you know, like I said, if I'm driving or. Well, have you ever walk. tried the women's boots? You ever tried what? lady boots? I'm telling you, they're soft, man. They might well, look I've a little goofy. I've got a pair of, of uh, Tacolas that are uh, no skin lined, uh, I believe, because they are super soft inside, and they're my size, and they fit. You know, really comfortably there. Yeah, They're like almost custom made for me. See, that's but, what I. Uh, that's what I'm saying. The women's. It's weird. It's different. They're. They're. I mean, they're a men, men's food. I order them. You know, and kind of have beef, but they're just they're better quality, I guess, or the, you know the way that they line them when they finish them. Oh, yeah. uh, so they they almost feel like they're custom made. Uh, but no, I don't have any. Um, uh, I've never tried a, you know, an actual lady's boot because I can never find one that's big enough to fit <laughs> <in> my feet. <laughs> but I, I have okay. several pair of boots, and like I say, most of them are, uh, are kind of happy, but they're just not quite comfortable for me, and that's why I have them on, on Craigslist. Um, hey, well, I, I appreciate your honesty, sir. And I, I, I might have to pass, but I, you know, if I do end up not finding a nice pair of uh, kickers, I'll definitely give you a call back, my man. Yeah, keep my keep my number handy, and uh, I've always got some stuff around that you know. And they're again, they're not like beat to death or worn in the barn. Well, you, you got a lawnmower? Out. You got a lawnmower or a toaster oven? I'm I'm sorry. You said you got other stuff. You got a lawnmower or a toaster oven? Oh no, no, but I mean other other boots. I oh, got, like, okay. <laughs> I do have stuff sometimes, you know, like uh, I had a chainsaw a while ago. I don't have any lawnmowers at the moment, uh, but you never know. You never know. <laughs> Absolutely, man. Well, hey, you have a good week, all right, bud? But watch, watch my Craigslist, and usually if, uh, stuff that I have uh, that's for sale finds its way on there uh, sooner or later. Okay, you got Thanks it. Thanks for man. calling. Yep, yeah, no problem. Bye. Okay. <laughs> I thought I had him with the woman's boots thing real quick. All right, let's let's move on. Let's move on. Let's... Well, that was fun. <laughs> Moving on to numero duso, number two. Let's try to get this. Hello? Hi, is this the guy with the uh, firewood? Yes, sir. All right. Uh, now, where I'm from in Montana, when, when we say firewood, we're talking like real wood now. Like how much you, how much you sell? For a, uh, you know, like, what what do you what do you got for your deals here? For like, for do you deliver? You pick up? You drop off? No, I don't do. I wouldn't deliver it. You don't deliver? Okay. Oh, so I got to come pick up the wood. What now? What kind of what kind of wood is it? Is that oak, maple? Uh, whatever it says in the description. Cherry. Oh, you don't remember? You didn't write the description. I like when people describe their wood to me. Ah, we lost them. Well, I'm trying, guys. You'd be surprised how many people don't answer their fucking phone. Moving on. All right, let's move to number three. I swear to gosh, someone better pick this mo fucking phone up. Hey, is this uh, Roy with the tachometer? Yes, it is. Hey, Roy, can I can I ask you a quick tachometer? That's pretty much like a speed regulator, speed calculator. Well, it tells the RPM on the motor. The RPM. So, like, if I say I can't afford like a Fitbit, if I were to strap that to my iPhone and like run with it, do you think it would let me know how fast I'm going or keep me like? Oh sure. It does. Oh, it does. Ah, no, <laughs> no, Roy, come on, you gotta, you gotta help me out. Now what? Now that that's coming off a of 80, 80 some odd Mustang, I heard. No, seven. No, it's coming off an eighty seven Monte Carlo. Eighty seven Monte Carlo, Monte Carlo. Okay, well, I, I mean, I'm a ninety one Mustang myself. I could get the RPMs going. <laughs> 
Right. <laughs> um, I'll, I'll be honest with you, Roy. I'm just uh, making a funny video about prank calling Craigslist guys, and I appreciate your pretty much your humor and your will to not be yell at me. <laughs> do, you, do you mind if I use this? I don't care. Oh, Roy, you are a great man. I appreciate you. What are you going to put it on? Uh, I have a YouTube channel. Oh, do you? Yeah. Yeah, it's all for good fun. A lot people get kicks out of it, you know. It's a, it's all yeah. in good humor as long as it's all, you know, doesn't go too far. Yeah, sure. Okay. I appreciate you. Yeah. You ha you have a good one, man. Bye. 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 Yes, yeah. one cool guy. I made a friend today. Let's move on. Wrap it up. You need to wrap it up, brother, right now. Hey, check on. Uh, yeah, I just, uh, I can't remember. You had something on sale for Craigslist, if I if I remember right. Uh, yeah, I have a couple things you have about monitor parts. Market parts? Monitor heater parts. Monitor heater parts. Now, yeah. now, what are you monitoring? What are you, what are you monitor, monitoring with that? Your heat? It's a monitor heater parts. The parts, so you don't have the heater itself. Oh no! I have the la I have uh, a laser seventy three that uh, I'm rebuilding. I have that done, but that's six fifty. Oh, that's cool, man. That's actually that's pretty cool. Uh, you rebuild and you like pretty much buy parts or fix up heaters and reflip them. Well, yeah, it costs a little more than that, but yeah. So yeah, <laughs> well, yeah, that's that. Uh, parts are, 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 are cheap. Who thinks they're cheap? But they're not that cheap. But who do you think they are? Oh yeah, well, you know I yeah. It, it's hard to heat things up around here for sure. Cold place yeah, too. And, uh, we're I'm plowing right now. Oh, I get the so, old lady. Uh, I'll, I'll give you a call back, okay? You got it. You plow away, All man. Right. Oh yeah, fly. Well, I guess we're gonna end it on that one. Uh, awesome. You guys, let me know what you think about this idea. Maybe I'll pre-plan it a little bit. This literally all just happened within like, I saw the video at the gym and I thought it was funny and I was like, I'm going to go home and do it. So this literally took me all of a half hour. Let me know if you think it's funny. If you think it's funny, we're going to do all these different things that I've been trying. We'll put it all together. This will be that free range channel. You want your commentary. You want your jokes. You want your prank calls. You want your porn hub. Find it all here, baby. We got it. Later, guys.